How's it going guys? I hope you're having a great week out there. My name is Garrett. Welcome to the channel. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video talking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, how much we enjoyed using that for the blacksmithing shoot that we rented it for. Once again, that's on its way. Hopefully we'll get that done here in the next few weeks. But one thing that I wanted to give a little bit more detail on in today's video is the workflow using B-RAW or Blackmagic RAW and ProRes 422. The reason I want to do this is whenever we rented the Black Magic, I was excited about having a raw codec to shoot in because I've heard all the hero stories about Black Magic Raw, how great it is to work with in post, and don't get me wrong, it is. But one thing that blew my mind was the ProRes. And I want to show a little comparison today how I grade the B Raw as well as grading the ProRes 422 with a conversion look. Keep in mind, I'm not a professional colorist. So if there's anything in this video that I do that is not up to snuff with you pro colorists, leave some comments down below. I'm all Always up to learning here on my end but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it okay so we are in premiere pro and i want to show you guys really the difference in workflow with b-raw right here and the prores file and also a few differences when it comes to dynamic range now i'm going to say this as many of you know whenever you're shooting raw on a camera you're going to have a whole lot more dynamic range it's maximizing the, the dynamic range of that sensor and that's why you're going to have more detail as you notice up here in the sky versus with the prores now i do believe with the prores in all fairness that i did expose this mostly for sarah's face but even though the camera is pointed directly at the sun in this raw shot we still have so much blue it's retaining so much blue up there in the highlights and even in the shadows we have a lot of detail there on the barn and it's completely shadow side of the sun so one thing very impressive about b-raw is the dynamic range now with that comes a little bit more noise in the shadows because there's no internal noise reduction applied to it versus on a prores file it's probably going to be less noisy once again, to each their own on this, but I wanna show you my process for grading these. Now I am gonna use a conversion LUT, and I recommend that if you are using B-RAW especially, get yourself a good clean conversion LUT. I know that Buttery LUTs, they make a very good conversion as well as some other companies. So what we're gonna do is on our clip, we're gonna go ahead and convert this with the conversion LUT that I have. We're gonna go plus one contrast, Gen 5 Color Science and going to our b-raw settings go ahead and switch that to clip we are on gen 5 and i actually want to work in rec 709 for this and just from that conversion alone we have a really good looking image it's a little bit green so we're going to go ahead and address that here in the metadata i'm going to add some magenta in there and the white balance, I'm gonna keep it at 5600. Now I do have highlight recovery applied already. And I want you guys to look at this pointed directly at the sun at all this detail we have up here in the highlights until we really get to the dead center of it. That is the power of raw. On top of that, look at all this detail that we have in the shadows over here on the dark side of the barn. What I can do is I can even lower my exposure a bit if I want to, to bring even more detail into those highlights. And this is what's so crazy about raw and really with the 6K, um, it's, it's a great camera. It has great dynamic range, retains a lot of good detail and without doing anything but a conversion, this clip to me already looks great. We're gonna do a little bit more to it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull up our scopes, bring our blacks down just a little bit, get them a little closer to zero and this will give us some more contrast as well. And we might cool it off just a tad. Bring some teal down into our shadows. Nothing crazy. Bring our highlights more towards the orange and red side instead of yellow. And that right there to me is a good looking image right out of the gate. We didn't have to do too much to it to get it to look that good. And that's what's so impressive once again with the B-Raw is once you do a proper conversion, it looks great. Um, and that's one thing that I really enjoyed about shooting with the 6K. Now moving on to the ProRes, same thing. We're gonna go ahead and do our conversion over here. I'm gonna bring in our plus one contrast and that's a little hot. So I'm actually gonna dial that back. And I think we can even do that on the B-Raw file. We can go ahead and dial that conversion back. Um, and whenever we do that, obviously we're gonna have to go in and do a little bit more work. So let's go ahead and go back to this real quick and play with the curve. Go ahead and bring in a little bit more contrast by pulling our shadows down. Make sure that looks okay on our scopes. Yep. Bring up the highs a little bit, bring up the mids a little bit, just give it a simple, simple S curve. 
and but this is the fastest grade that anyone could probably do right now so don't don't take this grade to heart that image is looking a little dark right now but anyways you get the idea going back to the ProRes same thing and a lot of our images sitting right in the middle so we got some room to play with here let's do a simple s curve gonna go ahead and bring our blacks down as far as they will go and this was a very bright scene um, I did I did like this like I said for her face or expose it for her face and so that's why we're not gonna have as much detail up here but like I said earlier with the ProRes we don't have a lot of detail or as much detail as the b-roll anyways with that so let's go ahead and bring in some magenta not too much and I'm not gonna do any skin corrections or anything like I said this is this is a pretty quick grade just want to show you guys the difference in workflow but how each one of these codecs really is easy to work with um, I would consider this a good looking image or a good initial coloring um, straight out of the box so once again we started off with this and here is our conversion and we can do the same thing if we want to going back to the color wheels we can bring in a little bit of blue and teal in the shadows push the highlights towards the orange to really really sell that golden hour look and yeah I think that is a good looking image.